Welcome to this video on using Control and E instead of some functions and formulas in Microsoft Excel to really quickly do what you need to do to change data and things like that. So I've got a list of names here. I've been copied and pasted into an Excel and obviously the formatting is not amazing. It's got a surname, a comma, a space and then the first name. Now obviously I can use different functions in order to pull that out because I just want to see Alice Johnson, David Davis, things like that. And what you can do some of the time, it might not always work, but some of the time you can use the brain in Microsoft Excel to do a lot of the work for you. All you need to do is do the first one so it knows what you're doing. So let's just have a look at mine. And I'm just going to put my, I'm going to click in the cell in the names column that I've created. And I'm just going to type out Alice Johnson in exactly how I want it to come. So I want her first name, I want a space, and then I want the second name. So I've done that for it. I've told Excel how it's going to work. What I'm going to do now is I've clicked in the cell below and I'm going to press Control and E. Control and E. And there you can see it's popped it up all the rest of the data. You may just want to just make sure it's worked correctly. But for mine, mine's a simple data set, the same formatting all the way through. And it's picked it up nice and easy. So I've not had to go in and retype those out or start to create different functions and things like that. So sometimes Control and E might work really great for you in Microsoft Excel if you're able to put in one example and then let the brain in Microsoft Excel fill out the rest of the cells for you. So definitely a quick one to have a go at. May save you a lot of time when you're playing around with data in Excel. It's definitely one that I try and remember, Control and E. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and please do let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.